Um, what am I doing? Going back to going back to the master. The master. Yep, yep. Voice from above, y'all. The brown stone you received is one of six stones in this world. The six MacGuffins you need to beat this video game. When all six of these stones are gathered, the gate leading to the world of evil shall be reopened. Be shall be 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 be, be opened. Now, you must go to Greenwood, where the next stone awaits you. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, do I- does the teleport just take me there now? How, how do I get to Greenwood? Yeah, maybe we should keep the Gate to Evil shut. Yeah, just a thought. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, why are we trying to open the Gate Evil? Can we just leave that shit, like, for somebody else to deal with? Also, um, maybe, oh, wait, you know what? What if I put the, or, uh, the stone on? If I put the stone on, does the teleport take me to a different place? open somewhere that takes me to Greenwood, maybe? Well, um, I like how it says just go to the next place, but it's like, okay, well, how do I get to the next place, game? The face of the village chief has disappeared. What was that? What was that? Don't know. Yeah, everyone knows you have to open the door to evil if you want to stop it. It's like, yeah, now I can go to the next place, but how do I go? Do I go from here? <laughs> Just crack the door of evil open. Don't go in all the way. Uh, move. I didn't see that. Now I see that. Ha ha! Now I get it. Move. Alright, so I can go here now. Greenwood. Alright. New place. New things. New happenings. Welcome to Greenwood, y'all. It's wood of green. Also treasure. Oh, I can't get to it. It's behind the flowers. Sad face. Or can I? Hmm. Behind all the flowers. I can't get back there. Probably gotta restore some shit to get it to be accessible. That's fine. Just welcome to Greenwood, everybody, where dreams do come true someday. All right, welcome to the dungeon, y'all. Who's ready to get charged on? I don't know if that was the best way to kill that guy. Probably wasn't, but it was fun. More funky bass lines, y'all. Fuck yeah. Rich, I'm trying to walk over the thing. A hole. I released a burb. You released a burb. I can talk to the bird later, I guess. Fuck you, dino bitch. Oh, hello. Uh, 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 uh. Burn him. Burn them? No? Don't 
don't burn them? Oh, there it goes. I have no more gems now, so... Yeah, good luck burning something you can't reach, fucker. Ooh. Ooh. Right, first of all, ouch. Thank you for ouching me. Fucking enemies that just keep spawning. That's fun. We're level five. Yay. That was doing too much, man. Right, just the thing. I released a doggo. First a burbo, then a doggo. All right. We'll say what's up to the doggo soon. Come on, man. Fucking lizards. Oh, my God. Fuck these plants in my face. Kind of annoying you can't attack the plants unless they're not reaching at you. Kind of Only in between their attacks are you allowed to attack them. Duh. Also, we're inside the pyramid now. This is fun. Oh, you fucker. I need the gems. Motherfucker. How many of these fuckers do I gotta kill? I just killed that guy soon. Alright. Anyway, bridge open. This music's pretty good too. I'm, I'm digging it. Can I go in this hole? Oh, it's a staircase. I'm glad I checked. Fucking ooh. First game of the Haven and Earth trilogy. Heaven and Earth? Yeah. What up, RPG fan? Welcome to the stream. I've already played uh, Illusion of Guy in the past, though, so technically I'm playing my second game. I don't think it really matters, the order. Illusion to Guy was the only one I had ever really heard of before. That's why I started with it. If anybody's wondering you know, why I didn't start with that one, or this one. This is the one I actually had heard of the least. Mother... Ooh. Mother... Motherfucker. You always hear Terra Ning was the best? I think they're all probably good games in their own right. Because Illusion of Guy was fun. But it still felt like it wasn't like all-time great fun. And same this one I'm gonna feel the same way probably about. It's fun, but it's not all-time great fun. Anyway, I released another burb. So we got another burby to go talk to. Sounds good. Come hither, lizard. I need to kill you. I don't have to deal with your shit anymore. Fuck you, lizard. I don't want to deal with your shit anymore. You know they also made the Act Razor games? Yep, I played Act Razor as well. Ah. Robo Shrek is not one I've played, though. Fucking plants. Bitch. Wow. One little notch before he died, man. Yay! Shortcut. Ooh, treasure. 
I found 150 gems. Boo! A thousand points on the cooler. I mean, 150 gems is fine, but that's losable, man. I want something I can keep forever. You imagine these games are best played through emulation since they're not on any modern consoles? They are definitely not. It feels like a, 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 a set of games that could easily be packaged together as like the, you know, the quartet, the quartetology, the quartology, if you will. Okay. Come hither, Clayman, or whatever you fucking big-headed bitches are. I released a mole. We got dog and mole and burbs. Voice calling from the hole. I am the creature who brings light to darkness. I will help you upon your return. Ooh. Light to the dark, y'all. Fucking mole. Medical herb. It's not on the Switch? Nope. They don't have these games on the SNES. The SNES Online. Because otherwise I would be playing it on that. Because I have no reason not to. I also didn't talk to this lady. I am watching over the world. Please take this. More experience points. Woot. Uh, no, I'm going to stay here. But thank you. Thank you for the ability to leave if I want to. Even if they did, that wouldn't help since you don't have a Switch RPG fan. Fair. Fair. But still, you'd think they would put it on there. I agree. Let that bitch-ass fairy healed me because I got fucked up by these dudes. Ooh, I'm so over these fucking plant dudes. So over them. So annoying. Delicious seeds. Favorite seeds, exchange for an item with the exchanger. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Put my herb back on. I guess I could to make sure if I die. That's not a good idea. It's not good to walk around without it, I do kind of agree on that. Alright, hold up. I will take heed of the advice that Ali has bestowed upon me and keep my herb on. And fire! 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 Good morning, ass plant bitches. You keep that herb on you. Yeah, you do. Yo, save that crocodilo, baby. Any RPG fan said he's been working his way through Blasphemous. He got all the weapons health upgrades, saved all the cherubs, and collected all the bones. The only bosses that are left now are the final and DLC bosses. Nice. Nice. DLC, DLC bosses are the hardest? Interesting. Yeah, if you got through the game, final boss wouldn't be too much of a problem. I didn't find um, Blasphemous to be the most difficult game, just in general, so, you know. Anyway, we got to level 6, so that's pretty cool. Another side path. I found a strange bottle. I'm assuming that's the same kind of bottle. Yeah, okay, we got another one of those. I guess that's cool. Another strange bottle. Blasphemous 2 definitely has more of the tougher pattern learning bosses. Yeah, I think I remember you telling me that. Right? 
You motherfuck. Ooh, that statue, he don't want none, bro. Where'd he go? Fucker. Bitch. Get some, homie. Alright. Monkey G released a squirrel. There's a squirrel back in his home. Blasphemous has definitely been easier than the FromSoft games, but you know the DLC bosses are on the tougher end. Yeah, definitely not an not a hard uh, Metroidvania to get through for sure. Definitely does not have Dark Souls level difficulty. Any more of these statues coming to life? You damn right they are. Did I have to did I have to touch them for them to come to life? I might have had to actually touch them. Like the fucking stupid ass Zelda statues. I might have to go. Well, probably don't have to go back and check, but yeah. Better make sure. Anyway, I released another mole, mole, mole. But at least Blasphemous 2 doesn't have insta kill spikes. That's always nice. Insta kill spikes are the bane of any old game existence, Mega Man included, and I love Mega Man. Well, insta kill spikes aren't usually necessarily. I mean, they are challenged, but they feel cheap to be one hit deaths. Just make your game good enough to where the spikes don't kill me in one hit, and I'll have to worry about that shit. Can't wait to get the damn next sword so I can go back to the previous level and fucking complete it. I feel weird going not completing what I could do there because I didn't have the right sword yet. Don't get me started. You just went through Mega Man one through seven and them goddamn spikes, them motherfucking spikes. Trust me, crew. I know what you. I know. I know how you feel, so homie. Although I do love. So you're not really allowed to backseat, no. You are not. But if I ask for help, you can tell me. But yeah, um, I should be holding L or R more often. It's definitely something I should do more often, and I haven't been. <laughs> Backseating, no. Backstabbing, yes. I mean, backstabbing is not something I can help. I can really stop, so. <laughs> Alright, we got a deer. Man, we're, we're helping all the aminals out here in the gosh dang ding dang forest, aren't we? Anyway, you'd say Mega Man 1 is hard, 3 and 4 are, the clo are close seconds to be the next hardest. I mean, that's probably about right. Mega Man 1's the hardest, Mega Man 3 is also pretty hard. I would go on a limb and say 3 is probably harder if it wasn't for the stupid yellow devil boss. Uh, Mega Man 4 I don't think is as hard as people... I don't know, people seem to run into trouble with 4. I always never thought 4 was that bad, but I've seen people struggle, so... Can't, I mean, can't just be me. 4's got a long back end? I guess that's true. Three's harder than 4 because of the dock robots? The dock robots is what makes 3 really hard. The dock robots plus their, the fact that you have to redo the level, and the level is harder too. Ah, the fireball. Uh, fuck you, lizard. But yeah, Mega Man 3 is rough. But yeah, make, uh, pretty much all the ones after that though. Five, six, seven. I always had trouble with too, just because of the the chunky sprites. But in hindsight, the only real hard part about seven is the final boss. Wily is bullshit in seven. You planty bitch. Obviously, eight's your next one. Eight kind of has the same 
feel is seven in the sense that it's like chonkier. It's on PS1. Um, I would say it's a lot easier though. I don't remember struggling it really very hard with that game compared to the rest. Anyway, I saved another squeal. Small voice coming from the hole. Oh, I am starving. If someone can bring me something to eat, I will exchange this powerful sword with them. <gasps> I need to find a squirrel nut or an acorn or something. Ooh, I want a sword. Give me a sword. I need your sword, motherfucking squirrel sword. Let me get this treasure over here right quick. Fucking lizard ass bitch. 50 gems, all right. Now you can worry about the sword. Okay, thanks, Marty. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just to kind of round out the rest of the top ten Mega Man or first ten Mega Man games, one through ten, anyways, the classic ones. Uh, yeah, Mega Man Nine is also very difficult, and Mega Man Ten is more fair. But also, I strangely struggled with it last time I played. Although I don't think it's very much harder. I just think I sucked when I was playing it. I'm not, have I? Mm, I might have come full circle around this whole place. I might have to go back outside and look around now. I thought it was strange how they went back to old sprites in 9 and 10. Well, it's funny because Mega Man 8 was on PS1, right? And then they didn't do any more Mega Man Classic for a very, very long time. And then on Xbox 360, like that era, I think it was on the WiiWare also. They decided, oh, we're going to bring back old classic Mega Man. It's like, plays like Mega Man 2. Because it literally plays exactly like Mega Man 2. You can't slide. You have no charge buster. Nothing like that. That's Mega Man 9. And it looks exactly like the old Mega Mans. Which I was hyped for. But, damn, that game is hard. You haven't played 9 and 10 RPG fan, but you know they went back to the basics without slide and charge shot. I believe that's only in the first one. I think in 10 you can do those things again. But I could be mistaken. You think... Mega Man X1 is the best of those. You feel like the X series gets a bit too needlessly elaborate as it goes on. But yeah, the, the original X games are better. I agree on that. Well, 2 is your favorite of the NES games. You're not sure. I think it's been swayed by the player's favorite because of Metal Man. I don't think so. I think without Metal Man's power up, I still think that game is the best game. It's just very fun. And yeah, good luck with the X series, hate crew. Um, the X series are also really good up to a certain point. You haven't played any X or Zero? Yeah. X is good up until a certain point, and then it kind of goes... Whee! Like, I will say this. X1 best, and it just goes downhill. All the way. All the way downhill. You will never go better than the first one. Um, Zero series is all kind of... It can all kind of feels the same, honestly. They're fun, but they all feel kind of samey to me. Anyway, let's start talking to all these animals. Talk with the stump. Please listen carefully. Talk with the stump. Hello? Oh, the stump behind you. This is Greenwood. This land was developed by a dog named Turbo. He created this town so animals could come here and feel safe. Turbo. Turbo the dog, you say? We've heard about him. Whoa, 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 sir. Mega Man X4 is the shit. Well, that's your opinion. I still think the series goes... Maybe it doesn't drop off precipitously like I just made it go. Maybe it's more like this. But even so, it gets worse and worse as it goes, man. <laughs> X4 is the only exception that I can understand people putting in there over X2 and 3 if you want to. And that's fine. But past X4, you can, you can go F yourself. <laughs> You played X 1 through 6 Mega Man on the NES. I'm think I'm assuming you mean the original classic 1 through 6 Cloud Power cuz that's the only ones that uh, were on the NES. Favorite Mega Man game though is Shovel Knight. Same. Same. <laughs> no, Mega Man 2 is still my favorite. Really don't want a, a lot of expedition slowing down my Mega Man games. You need to defeat Dr. Wily and evil robots. That is all we need. You totally agree, Ali? All right, that's fair. That's fair. Because X5, even X5, people tried to de fucking defend X5 to me when I played it, and I didn't like it. I still don't like it. And 6 was way worse, so... Ooh, and 7 is the worst. Literally. Please come take a walk with me. Sure, doggo. Alright, let's go. I'm assuming this is not Turbo. Turbo is probably the leader and the final thing we're going to save here, I'm guessing. 
The island over there is a graveyard. My twin brother is the island guard. Uh, okay. Cool. This is Green Theater, a group called the Woodston Trio is of local favor here. The Woodston Trio. Thank you for walking with me. Oh, one more thing. We animals communicate not only with our voices, but also... If I step like this and wag my tail, it means thank you. Did you already know that? Nope. I have as much fun walking people as they do walking me. Wow. wow. <laughs> Mega Man X, X 5 through 8 are cheeks. Straight cheeks. <laughs> anyway. The twist is that Wily was really behind it the whole time. They used that twist three times in a row. But they also use it. I mean, it's just, it's always Wily, the end. <laughs> it's like it's always Bowser, you know? It's always Ganon slash Ganondorf. Anyway, if you find a particular mole, you'll be able to see in the dark. Make sure you talk to all the moles. Well, I already know one of them said that, so we'll go talk to all of them, don't worry. Oh dear. Hello, I'm a member of the famous Woodston Trio. We usually have a variety show at this theater, but I am missing my two sidekicks. Alright, two more homies and we'll have that restored. Squirrel! Wow, his house is nice. This squirrel living in life luxury lifestyle up in this tree. You also love how in Mega Man 6 they just had Wily wearing sunglasses and no one realized it's him. That is pretty funny, actually. Seven also is the absolute worst. The voice acting was so bad. The voice acting is probably the best thing about X7. That's how bad it is. The game sucks. You think the game on your emulator is where I am right now? Cloud power? Well, then I caught up to you, sir. Ah, I smell some delicious seeds. You don't have some, don't you? Oh, he wanted seeds. Well, I have those. I do have some of those. I didn't realize that was what you were going to want. I thought you were going to want like an acorn or something. I will exchange this sword with you for the seeds. Hell yeah. Psycho sword. Chew. Bro. I'm going to be psycho as fuck, bro. Invincible monsters temporarily paralyzed. But does that mean I can fight the metal ones now? <coughs> Sorry. Jesus. My cough hit me. I kind of want to go test that theory out, but I'm going to wait a minute. Oh, you don't need to answer questions like that, Allie, right now. Rhetorical questions. Don't need answers to. Turbo the dog used to live with a human named Dr. Leo. Turbo learned a great many things from him. He used branches from the trees to make a tool called a raft. So I need tree branches to make a raft. Okay. Uh-huh. Where's Conquer at, bro? But yeah, regardless, I got a new sword, so hell yeah. Mole, mole, mole. You must bring me something that once belonged to Monmo. Who's Monmo? The other mole? Ooh, okay. I'm over here now. Oh, you're talking somebody on some stole, soul stuff. I got you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Ali. No problem. <laughs> Even though I don't look like it, I am from the sky just like you. I light up the darkness. You cheer up everyone. Let's work together to revive the world. The creature who lights up the darkness joined from G. Yo. The creature who lights up the darkness. I am the night. I am... Day man, killer of the night man, champion of the sun. Who are you? You trying to walk over me? No, you wimp. What if I say yes? You have some nerve. Okay, but don't hurt me. <laughs> don't hurt me, baby. Don't hurt me. No more. No, no, no. Save the animals. Save them. I will save them all. The birds tell me many stories. I am thankful for them because I can't move from this spot. The birds tell me the Lost Side Marsh has three shrines. One is called Water, another is Fire, and the third is Light. Cool. 
Yeah, dude. Walk over nap stab look. Look. Nap stab look, man. That's the ghost from Undertale, right? Isn't that his name? All right, well, back in here. Bring on the bitches. We got a stronger sword, a cooler sword. Honestly, don't know what else I can do in here right now, but we're gonna find out. Alright, so... Okay, uh, I don't really remember the exact path I took before. Ow. Gonna, oh, oh. Okay, it's, li it's lighter down here now. I wonder if there was paths I couldn't see without this light before. I guess we're gonna find out. Or if he's just a convenience and not required at all. It's like the dark levels from Crash Bandicoot games, kinda, yeah. Well, this is the dark area. Not seeing anything particularly stand out yet. Dun 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 dun. I'm starting to think this is just a matter of helping you see better. It doesn't actually do anything. What is that ball anyway? It's my spirit. He's my spirit friend. He helps me when I need to help. I don't know. Basically my navy kinda Ow ow. At least he doesn't speak, yeah. He's not like listen! That would probably get annoying. Hello? Fuck that lizard. I don't even want to fight you in the first place. I'm just looking for shit I haven't found yet, but I'm starting to think... I'm starting to think I, there's not much new that I haven't found now. Ben dang dang found there, damn damn yet, huh? Dang dang. Hmm. Well... I might have to go test out this sword, then. I don't know how we're supposed to get over there, other than the fact that we need to open up a path up here. But... Master, there is a 90% chance that I'm annoying you with my constant interruptions. Can't wait to play Skyward Sword for you guys, by the way. It's gonna be a lot of that. Did I go to that door to the far north? Far north? In the shrine? I didn't see a door. Did I miss a door? Well, now I'm even more curious. Nacho, you alright over there, man? I hear him sneezing or something. North door in the shrine. I'll go back in there. So there's the nacho. There he is, guys. You've been waiting to see him all day. Here you go. It's the nacho. Hey, buddy. Good boy. He's good boy. You're good boy. Alright, will you be good while I play? 
Or are you gonna be annoying? Door in the north. Did I go in this door? The answer to your question, Allie, is no, I did not go in this door because my fucking dumbass didn't notice it. So, no. No, I did not. <laughs> wow. <sighs> I would have checked again, trust me. I would have went back, tried my sword out on robots if they worked or not regardless, and then I would have came back here looking for answers. So, we would have found it eventually. I released another dog. Sweet. More dogs. You just saw it when I walked by. No, that's fair. That's fair. It's not like I had to unlock it or anything. It was just there. And I, my bitch ass didn't even just... I just overlooked the shit out of it. This is why Let's Playing and streaming is just a problem, man. Like, distractions. I'm talking. I'm thinking about what I'm trying to say or my point I'm trying to make. We're just talking about the game in general and I'm locked in on what I'm doing in the moment and I'm not looking around at the whole damn screen. It's just like, god damn it. And then I do shit like that and then I feel like a dummy. Alright, well, we're back here. So that's cool. You see the nacho ears peek peeking up? Yeah. He's chilling, in my po he's chilling in my lap right now. He's not sleeping or nothing, which is it's all good. He's just watching me play some Soul Blazer. Don't mind him. It's not my stream anymore. It's Nacho stream. <laughs> hoo hoo hoo. Oh, you fucker. Ooh. You fucker. Dude. Ooh. Fucker. God, there's way too many of these plant dudes coming out. Come on, man. Is FML catch Nacho sibling? Absolutely it is. Mochi, or Keiko as he named her. We called her Mochi, so I still can't. I still haven't given up the name in my, in my head, but Keiko, his cat, yes, was born of the same litter as Nacho. Wow, he's actually chilling on my arm right now. You're being way too adorable, sir. All right, shrine number two, the fire shrine, I'm assuming. That one dude mentioned shrines. Also, oh, can I not kill this thing? Fire. Oh, boy, we have enemies we cannot kill with the psycho sword. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Not kill the scorpions. Great. Medical herb. Cool. Totally needed that right now. Oh boy, there's ghosts. Demon ghost heads. My favorite. Apparently these lizards are dumb as shit. They want to go into the corner right here. I'm okay with this. You wanna be dumb as shit? Be dumb as shit. Let's see if I care. That opened up a stair. If you let Nacho play this, I'm sure he'll cheese all the buzz. Fine. Yum, yum, yum. I got another dog. D O G, baby. Ooh, that's a that's a feast going on over there. All right. We got that feast. Let me check out the stairs next, I guess. Another treasure. Nothing inside. Boo! Who took my treasure? And you did miss Nacho. You didn't miss him. He's in my lap right now, actually. He's cleaning himself. Fucking Scorpion. No, leave me alone. Ah. 
fucking scorpions, man. Alright, that opened up another stair. Too many scorpions, my dog. Too many scorpions, my dog. Ah! Lizardmen and scorpions everywhere! That's gonna get us another squirrel, Professor Quirrell. Quit licking my thummies. <laughs> He's licking my thumbs while I play. Uh -uh. All right, so that's the one that's gonna disappear when I get all the squirps, scorpos. I could technically kill these guys now, but I wouldn't be able to keep them dead to activate the thing. I don't know. Will they stay dead? see like if I reset this room will they stay dead I guess we'll find out no don't attack the cable bro oh god I didn't realize there was more ghosties chasing me son of a bitch ah Labyrinths give you some headache and a bit confusing on where to go this isn't too bad though I've played games with way more confusing shit man Anyway, I found oh, the dog graveyard. I gotcha. They did mention the dog graveyard before. The other dog who took me for a walk, which was hilarious. Alright. Murder the lizards. The lizard men must die. Your older brother had a cardboard box taco truck for his cats to climb into? That's adorable. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I released another crocodile so I can get over to the graveyard now. Nice. Here's where you can witness Funky introducing invasive species to loving lands. What are we talking about? Alright, well, anyway. Killed all the things there. No, bro, don't attack my cable. No. Alright, well, I think we cleared this room other than where I couldn't get to. Ah, fuck off. Fuck off, Scorpion. Down here. Whoa. Ooh, level 7. Let's go. Hell fucking yeah, boy. I released another mole! Mole, mole, mole! That crocodile alone ended up killing 9% of existing ecosystem in the river. Oh, I see what you're saying. The, uh, the crocodile is what's gonna ruin it. I gotcha. Go! I don't know why these ghosts are all sp spread out and shit, but whatever. Hey, I found another person for the group. It's a squirrel. Deer and squirrel are one and two. Who is three? We do not know. Not yet, anyway. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be attacking the cord, boy. Like that's my microphone cable, boy. Don't you do it. <laughs> Stop trying to chew. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's a dead end, anyways. What a waste of time. Go. That just reminds you of Doug Doug of a Doug Doug stream? Who the fuck is Doug Doug? I'm just talking about Dig Doug. Unless there's somebody named Doug Doug. Fucking lizard, quit digging holes. Dang lizard. Stop it! They're trying to attack my cables and I don't like it. No! Stop it. <laughs> oh, that opened up a bridge. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Forgot to wait for the thing to spawn. Oops, sorry. Go! Oh, man. How did these scorpions get here, man? Oh, 
Oh my god, Nacho. This is like the worst time for you to be licking my thumbs right now when there's a lot going on here that I gotta dodge. There's a lot going on here, sir. Stop fucking teleporting, bro. Oh my god. These lizard dudes are fucking annoying. Thank god. Hey, uh, uh, that was a bad idea. Oh shit, hold on. Those. Anyway, they seem mildly perturbed at best. Basically, that Doug Dead dude that was doing a, the zoo, the zoo stream, peep, and the chat was fucking his zoo up by having bears being, being in places where they could murder all the other animals. I got gotcha. you. I see. I see. Mildly perturbed at best, scorpions. Mildly perturbed at best. Ow. That's my band name, okay? Mildly Perturbed Scorpions. Also, I just died. There goes my Medica Kikul Herb. Medicalo Herb. I released another mole. Sweet. So many mole, 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 mole. Bring on all these bitches, yeah. What do we got now? A deer, a deer, a female deer, a deer, a deer, 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 a deer, a deer, a stupid deer. And we, we just saved all the deer, my dear. All right, did I? I don't think I cleared out this whole fucking floor. There seems, it seems to me, I'd missed a path somewhere. And if not, well, we have plenty to do back at the at the at the um the the forest with all the animals. No, I didn't go this way. Hold up. Come on, dude. Hurry up. Get your ass up and hurry up. Get your ass up and hurry up, boy. Kill all the lizard men. Kill them all. Kill all the lizard men. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all. Kill them all, y'all. Mm. All right. Another burb has been saved. Woo! And a and a gravestone. Okay. Okay. Uh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go! I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. Ah, uh, terrible choice. But you know what? I don't think, uh... I think we might be out of places to check out. Ah. I think we're ready to go back to the village. I think. I shouldn't have gone all the way there. That was dumb. Uh, yeah, half did I go over here? I did not go over here. Hold on. Did not go all the way over here. Lizardmen. Don't be playing with me, Lizardmen. I don't know what Nacho's doing, but I hope he's jumping down. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay, I definitely want to interact with that crystal bitch. Give us some experience points. Hells yeah. Hells yeah, boy. Here, take this light arrow magic. Hell yeah, I want to return with my light arrow magic. Fuck yeah, boys. I don't know if that works on the scorpions. I probably should have checked. But the only reason I dipped out of there as quick as I did is because I really got to stop for the day. I know I just unlocked a hell of a t fuck ton of animals. But that'll just give us something to do next time on Soul Blazer. I will go talk to all the new animals that are around. Including my Nacho, who's over here climbing on my desk now. Cool. Um, and we will uh, progress through Greenwood and moving on. I'm actually enjoying this game quite a bit. It's just some of the crypticness is not straightforward yet, and it's a little confusing. So hopefully we won't run into too much of that in the game, but I can't promise shit with an older RPG. But uh, thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying so far, and in the next episode, 
We'll do a Greenwood and keep going beyond that. So I'll see you guys then. Peace!